Okay, Yuri Glover, been over the rules, you know exactly what I expect. Keep yourself protected, listen to me. When I tell you to stop, you stop. If you want to touch, now's the time. God bless. The buzz is palpable. One man lays claim to having the best MMA jiu-jitsu in the world. The other has won 12 straight, the last 10 by knockout. Something's got to give as we decide the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Prohaska the challenger in red to Shara in the black and gold befitting a champion. Prohaska has the southpaw stance, so Glover has to attack single. If Prohaska goes conventional, Glover will attack the high crotch. Heavy kick just landed for Glover. One thing is evident, when they squared up, Yuri looked gigantic, huge. Now you see, I talked about this a lot. He's very unusual. You see the hands moving around a lot. The chin is up in the air. There's not much of a guard. But he's the embodiment almost of a traditional martial artist. Oh, nice body shot. Body head with the left hook. But as we've seen, and I say this with respect, we have seen flaws in traditional martial arts styles. That's why it became a mixture, because no one style was perfect. And of course, hold on. This is big. Big single there by you. Tree top. Yes. Wow. Gets him down. So to share with a takedown about a minute in with relative ease. Got to that single leg. Beautiful finish there by Glover to share. Elevated the leg, kicked the opposite leg that Yuri was hopping up and down on. Now, what does Yuri have off his back? It's going to be interesting to see. Right now, close guard. Just considering what his next move is going to be, seeing what Glover's going to offer and give him. Glover will give him nothing. Glover's uh, going to just beat him up and take his say, time. I'm sure he'll give yeah. him an elbow in the face. <laughs> Glover will take his time and he will just beat him up. Yuri's gonna have to get away from him. He will not make a mistake that allows for him to escape. Yuri needs to wall walk, but not give up his back. And that was the first thing he said in our fighter meeting. I cannot allow this man to operate off my back. Correct, and it is such a often and regular mistake that people make. In the urgency to get back to the feet, they give up their back, and you cannot do that against a man like Teixeira. Well, Yuri's controlling the hands. Yes. So he's giving him a chance. Nope, now Glover's back on top. He's looking for a Kimura, potentially. Yeah, but he's gonna now he's out of the guard, right? So now Glover's out of the guard, so he's even better. He's in an even better position. He's gonna kick off the fence. He needs to explode now. Yuri's nope. got to explode back into him. North South now under a minute, under two and a half to go, round one. Not Oof. at all the start that Prohaska was looking for. You hear Glover's corner telling him to pull him away from the cage because there will be a big explosion for Prohaska. There it is. That's that explosion, I said. Crowd pops as Prohaska oh. gets back to his feet. Two minutes to go in the round. And you see the smile from here as if to say, hey, look at that. You had me in your best spot, and I got back up. And now he's shot. alive, and he's full of confidence. Some blood coming out of the nose or so, it appears, from Glover to share already. Good right hand from Teixeira. Oh! Oh! Yuri rolled with that. Good shot by Glover, but Yuri did a good job of rolling with the punch. There's the single again, and look at that. Completes with these. Straight into oh, the, the mount. This, wow. Oh, he's gonna, he better not turn to his oh, knees. Big, big right shot. hand gets through for Glover. Prohaska, oh. and again. Try to pick his poison here. One minute, 15 seconds in a terrible position. Head up against the fence, full mile from Glover to Shara. And this is where Glover wants to be. He has worked the entire training camp to establish this position. 27 to one ground strikes. And the physicality of Teixeira at 42, a sight yeah. to behold. And that's the thing, right? That's the thing about Teixeira. When he's beating you up like that, when he's on top oh. of you, you're getting more and more tired. He's gonna fall off the top, though. 
Teixeira maybe working on a Kimura potentially. Well, he's using the legs to make sure that he doesn't lose position, roll off, and give Yuri Prohaska the advantage. But it's touch and go here. And potentially working on an armbar, as you say, Joe. Uh, John. Prohaska's out. All things considered, he's defended pretty well. Didn't want to give up the back, got mounted, but got out. And a big ground strike now from the challenger. Now Teixeira trying to control posture late in the round. These are massive bombs. Oh. I mean, these are knockout shots. Whoa, what a round, what a start. All right, here's the first takedown. Single leg tree tops him, sweeps the other, gets on top, some big control time, big ground and pound. A lot of damage done. Here's in the north-south, drops a couple of elbows. Here's another takedown attempt, and like the corner was just saying, look how easy you're taking him down. However, Yuri has success at the end. Two unheralded head coaches, Fernelli Feliz Sr. with Glover and Martin Karivanov, the head coach of Yuri Prohaska. Yuri did a good job of defending himself on the ground. He did. Not allowing Glover to get too much damage done on him. Hi, right, Paul. Glover, Glover, over there. Yuri, stay there. Glover, over there. No, stop, 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 looking at no, me. No. You okay? Yeah. You can see? Yeah. Okay, time in. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> You're, like, yes. Get out of the way. I want to fight. You're <laughs> annoying me. I am trying to <laughs> annihilate my opponent. Get out of my way. <laughs> There's a nice job. He's so long. He's and long. He fights long. He, he, but he doesn't utilize that to the best of his ability. He's looking to explode with a flying knee. Keeps lowering his base to explode. Nice head movement there by Prohaska. Glover throws the right hand to the body and then the left hook. He does it a lot. The left hook's his best shot. Oh, Yuri's looking good here. Yeah, Yuri looks fresh. He's I faster. Mean, he's much faster than Glover. He's faster. He's younger, of course. And he's just, he's, he really is just like a samurai warrior. Well, I mean, the strikes they, don't come from a normal place. No. No normal place, right? He doesn't play the game. He doesn't follow the rules. Now, a boxing coach would say, oh, this guy leaves so many openings. But you can still be effective because obviously there's kicks, there's knees, there's elbows, yep. takedowns, of course, as well. So therefore, sometimes the rules don't necessarily apply if you're good enough, fast enough, and have the reflexes to get away with it. Prohaska's last two wins oh. have ended by round two knockout. Oh. Nice jab there, appeared to partially stun Teixeira. I think he might have hurt Glover with the knee. Yes, that hurt him. Yuri's, sorry, Glover's wrestling for his life. Oh, big hammer fist from Prohaska. Looking for Anaconda, Joe made a mistake. I mean, Yuri is just dreaming with confidence oh. right now. He's got to be careful, though. Glover's known to throw that left hook whenever he's under attack. Prohaska almost can't miss, though. He's landing everything. And they're powerful. Wait for the knee. To share, able to land a right hand of his own under two and a half to go in the round. The body language of Glover yeah, is good if you're in his corner. Too. Glover he's, looks tired. Too much damage. Oh, can he get it though? Can he get it? Well, Haskell's doing a good job of turning and kicking, recognizing there's nothing for Glover to hold on to on the bottom half. Yuri just had a big output though. He's taking some deep breaths right yeah. now. Nice. Glover has to just try to survive this round. Yes. Prohaska mixing in some nice elbows now. Oh. Oh, punches and punches. I mean, Glover has a chin. We've seen Yuri just fold people oh. with these kind of shots. Oh, oh, look at this. I told you that left hook comes from nowhere, from Teixeira. You cannot get overexcited. You can't get overzealous. Under 90 seconds to go in the round. Good opportunity oh. here for the champ. I'm telling you, they're heavy shots. There was two or three in a row there. Is he under the chin? No, no he isn't. Not yet. 
A wild second round. Prohaska forced to defend here. Big right hand. These are bigger shots. These are bigger shots landed by Teixeira. And the output that Yuri put out in this round is gonna start to get a little tired. And this is so important right now for Glover because it wasn't looking good a moment ago. He took a lot of shots, the body language, the eyes. He looked hurt. Now he's gonna take a little, you know, a little breath here, compose himself, gather his thoughts, so to speak, and just be like, whoo! It feels good to have this beast on the floor a minute. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Once you gain that control you've been searching for. Yeah. Nothing exactly. feels better. You can finally you're relax. Going to share. Yep, you can take a breath, you can calm down. And you can also realize that you're investing. You're investing in wearing this kid out, making him tired, relying on the fact that he isn't used to grappling as much as you are. Right. And he's gonna fatigue. Mount position. He's defending well. Yuri's got a high guard, but they're getting through now. Oh, big elbow right through. And he cut him bad. Oh, he big cut him bad. Another one for good measure. Wow. Strong close to round two for the champ. What a round. Oh, that's a nasty cut. Early, it's all Yuri Prohachka landing his shots. Guys have not stood up to this since he's been in the UFC. Beautiful flying knee, turns and kicks. Left hook, Glover lands, knocks Yuri down, and then he just dominates him on the ground. So Yuri Prohaska has got to make sure he doesn't take more of those elbows. He cannot That's be left. One. Yes, he cannot get taken down because Glover has been beating him up when they have gotten on the ground. And that cut is brutal. It is big, it is right above the eye, and it's going to cause problems. And this is just the second time since 2014 that Yuri Prohaska will fight into a third round. The champ all smiles, as is the challenger. They have called in the doctor to look at the cut above the left eye of Yuri Prohaska. They They're have smiling. tempered the bleeding, at yeah, least for now. Have. Glover's smiling because this is where he has generally pulled away from these guys. Let's see how Yuri responds to this. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be smiling in this situation. No way. I'll be no like, way. oh, come on. I gotta go and do this again? Because for Yuri, it's like, stay up, right? For Glover, it's like, how can I get this takedown as easy as possible? He doesn't want to give max effort to get these takedowns because they get harder and harder. He yeah. wants Yuri to make a mistake so he can just kind of knock him down. But the longer he waits for the perfect opportunity, the Ooh. more chance he's got of getting clipped. Nicely defended by Gl Yuri. And Prohaska wise to welcome Teixeira back to his feet. Very smart there. I that don't was know. smart of Yuri. He Let had him big up. success with the ground and pound when he got top position earlier. Potentially trying to avoid those transitions on the ground. Or even just using muscles, right? This guy's a striker. This guy doesn't want to be grappling for 25 minutes. Teixeira moving his head well. Avoided most of those offerings there from Prohaska. Ah, oh, clean. So much movement. Stance switches from Prohaska. Gives you so many different things to look at and think about. Yuri is a very difficult guy to prepare for. Just because the dangers come from everywhere. I, I, but now, they're just dripping in sweat. Yep. The takedowns aren't gonna be as easy hard. now. For Yuri, he can oh. just scramble. Oh! Pretty good reaction by Teixeira to try to get the takedown, unable to do so. And there it is, there's the sweat that's causing real issues now for Glover Teixeira. And Glover's all bloodied up now too. Glover's all beaten bloody. Teixeira in trouble here, or so yes. it would appear. Certainly looks like it, oh, John. Oh, and there's a knee now from Yuri. That's the one, the tree top, that's what he needs. Oh my goodness. Isolates the leg, therefore the sweat doesn't play a factor. It's just a good old fashioned trip with the other leg. Well, Yuri's trying to roll away from him. And that's where he's finding himself in trouble. Every time he kicks away, Glover lets the leg go and just follows him. Yuri's turning his hips, though. Yuri's doing a good job here, trying to get back to his knees. He's doing a great job. He's almost there. He's actually on his knees. And now he's about to be up. Nicely done by Prohaska. Beautiful job by Yuri there. Huge. Switching the position, staying and wrestling on the hook. 
Yuri Prohaska is a very well-rounded martial artist. Oh, he I... understands defense when he gets taken down very well. He got clipped there, though. Prohaska, hands down, oh, rips oh. the body there. Massive body shot, but Glover takes it. I mean, come on, the creativity. Oh, strikes uh, from all angles, couple no good body, body shots. shots. And again. Oh, and again. big knee to the body. That forces to share it to the canvas. I'm not sure how many more no. shots he can take. I don't think he can. He's going to be lucky to get out of this round. Going to feel like a long two minutes, half guard. Big third round for Yuri Prohaska. Teixeira on officially now three for 12 on his takedown attempts. And that blood becoming a real factor. We thought the Prohaska cut would be the issue, but it's becoming the cut of Glover Teixeira. Right. If you're Yuri, you're letting him up. Glover is not doing a good job with the finish strikes on the feet. He seems tired. Dar's choke. Well, he needs to jump over to the other side. Arm triangle there by Yuri. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nope, look at that. Wow, playing with fire a little bit. Correct. And now Teixeira back inside the closed guard of Yuri Prohaska with 40 seconds to go in the round. Well, you got to respect Yuri for even going for that. Going up against a guy with the jiu-jitsu credentials and trying to submit him, even though it potentially a sacrifice move. Oh! oh. Especially when he doesn't need to. It feels like he can finish this fight from the feet. Slicing elbow lands for Teixeira. On bar attempt, thought about it. I mean, this fight is just incredible. It's everything. I mean, this is just, wow. A wild title fight through 15 minutes. And here's the big knee that caused a lot of the damage. I mean, look at that, to the jaw and the neck simultaneously. And just the heart of Glover to share with her. Well, a lot of folks didn't think we'd get here, but round four, new territory for Yuri Prohaska. Well, Glover to share just enjoyed a tremendous amount of damage. And to hear him, in the corner, just saying to him, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna beat him. Crazy. I mean, have you ever, I mean, how can you not be inspired by this man? No, he's- The determination. So determined to be the champion. And honestly, I think he, oh, well, nice corner shot. His corner said, right to the body, left hook high. Head kick for Teixeira, not a ton on it when it got to the target. Short left to the body for Prohaska. Yuri looking a little more labored in his movements now. That was a good kick. Oof. A lot of mouth breathing going on for Prohaska. And Teixeira. Oh, oh, come on. I mean, the impact, you could hear it. Yeah, you can hear it. And we've got on like soundproof and headphones. <laughs> Oh. Ooh! Right hand from Teixeira allows yep. him to get inside. He's got the hands He's together. He's got his hands locked. Yep. He's going to finish He's going to go one. for a ride. That's where Glover feels. That's where the confidence came from. Knowing that he possibly won round one, and he knows that he can go get takedowns late. You see Yuri here with both arms. What he's trying to do is like... Shook him off of them. He's got to get, but he's got to get the left arm underneath. Yep. The left arm stuck. He's got to get him both around the body of Teixeira, bridge and throw Glover forward over his head, especially with the sweat. He's abandoning that position now. Yuri, I'm talking about. Solid side control for Glover. Yuri has to be very careful not to accept this position and definitely don't let Glover move to the next position, which is the mount. If he lets him out of him again, it's going to be a problem. 
And if you're Glover to share, you're going to do everything you can to just make Look sure at it. Look, there that it is. this Look. beast does not get back to his feet. Prohaska is mounted now. Oh, and he's arm got triangle. two and a half arm minutes triangle. left. Arm triangle. If Glover can get his body off to the side, I just yes, don't it's know not if he's there. It's not it. there. The arm's going to be over the other side. But when you're as tired as Yuri is, yeah, correct. This sucks. That becomes a major factor. But that's why he's not stepping off to the side yet, because it, the position isn't secure. Yeah, he doesn't want to And lose if he it. steps off to the side and he doesn't get the position, he'll lose. He doesn't get the submission, he'll lose it. Very smart decision making by Glover there. He was close to securing the submission attempt, but it wasn't there. Prohaska's only been submitted once in his career, if memory serves. It was about 10 years ago, and he didn't tap. Went out. And now it is. Now it's tight. There it is. No, no, no. Yep. So I moved. It's, he took it now because it's tight. Yeah, but he, he might. Watch his hands. Watch his hands. Oh, it's tight. I mean, he's squirming and he is squeezing. Oh, he Thumbs said he's up. okay. Yeah, he should take Mount back. I'm telling you, the position's off. Oh, now. You... Now that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. right. Oh. Oh. Incredible defensive work from Prohaska. 90 seconds to go round four. A lot of slippy shots down there. Not them ones. And th this is it, right? Round two looked like this. Prohaska dominated. Glover controlled the very end of the round. Round four, Glover dominates. Oh, nice move. Yuri's now in position. Deep half for Glover. Teixeira tried to burst, unable to do so. Peek oh, out. sits through perfectly. Takes the back. I mean, come on, the skill of this man. Beautiful peek out there by Glover Teixeira. And a nice shot by Prohaska to prevent the body lock. He kept that leg inside. Trying to get that second hook in. Yuri's aware of it, but he's got to be careful because while he's using one hand to fight the foot off, he can create the opportunity for the next Good defensive grappling man, right? Oh, very good. Really good. He's done his homework under 30 seconds to go now, and Teixeira working off of his back again. This fight has had it all. This has been a great fight. Oh, it's, it's been an amazing fight. Waning seconds, round four. Big right hand on the ground for Prohaska. Fifth and final round, standing ovation in Singapore. Five minutes or less to decide the undisputed UFC light heavyweight championship. I mean, I love this fight. It's been fantastic. We have seen everything. Beautiful grappling by Glover. Fantastic striking by Yuri. Yuri with some really good grappling and takedown defense. Several occasions, both men have nearly been finished. Yeah, it's, it's been tremendous. That's nice. And this is just Yuri B. Oh! Massive right from Teixeira. Prohaska. He's got the Trying to survive. No. Oh, no. Big mistake. Why would you do that? Glover he had guillotine. He had him hurt bad. His opponent out on his feet almost. Just the instincts kick in. Hours of training, thousands of hours where you lock in the gear team and finish the fight. In this situation, a terrible move. Especially when you're sweaty. Yeah. Very close fight. Dude's hurt. That right hand. Look, he's Boom. been looking for that right hand all night, and he could not touch him because Yuri was too fast. Now that Yuri's tired, he's able to touch him with his hands. Teixeira has got to find a way back to his feet. He does. Because it, I... And, and now he does. And perhaps in some part, welcome there by Prohaska. Yuri's jab is true. Cobwebs may or may not have been cleared. Glover is finding the mark, though, with frequency. Yes, I'm telling you, it's because Prohaska's tired now. Yeah. He's not moving as well. Dude, he was, Glover was catching wind. Oh. Oh. Look, the left hook. Glover was catching all win early, but now he's touching him. He's trying to take him down again. He hurt him again. 
He's got to switch to a single leg here if he wants to finish his takedown. Who would have thought that in the fifth round, Glover Teixeira is now winning the striking between him and Yuri Prohaska? Unbelievable. You see Yuri just slapping away at his face just to do something. And DC to single your point, leg. yep. To share a corner call for him to switch to the single. Glover's tired too, though. This is crazy. It really is. It's just an epic battle of wills right now. There's a hard job. And there's oh, a big right hand. Right on the ear. Prohaska shakes it off as if to say, didn't do too much oh damage. My the goodness. chin on Yuri Prohaska is ridiculous. Glover Teixeira has folded people and put them to sleep with yeah. these shots. Yuri's trying to hit a switch. It is crazy to watch Glover at this age defend this championship with this much. And he's I mean, got the mount. He's in the fifth round. In the championship round with is where he went and did his thing. He's got two minutes though to go to work in full mount. And every time we've seen that, he does do damage from here. But Yuri has made it to the end of the round. But two minutes is a long one. One minute 40 is a long time. And Prohaska, of course, with all the heart to go with the skill set. Oh, without 90 question, John. seconds to go. He's going to kick off the fence. He's trying to walk around, walk over. Well, we've had a lot of great live events in 2022. None better oh, than God. UFC 275. Prohaska working partially off the back here. Oh. Wisely rolls, looking for a leg now. Passes to side control, does Yuri. I mean, Yuri has oh. proven to the world here tonight that he is yes. not only a striker, he can grapple, he can hold his own on the ground with the best. Glover has made some technical mistakes tonight, though. Correct. There's been some opportunities, some control oh! opportunities. Oh! It's there! He's got it's it! It's under the deck! He, he got the hand he down, He got though. the hand, he got the hand. No, but they still got it again. He got oh, it, he that's it! Yuri yeah. Prohaska has done it! Nearly at the gun! There is a new light heavyweight champion! The Czech Republic has got one! Yuri Prohaska! A stunner in Singapore! I mean, just like Juliana Pena against Amanda Nunes, when you're that tired and you get the position, you don't need the hooks. Bro, I just said it. Glover has made some positional mistakes. That last mistake allowed for Yuri to get in the top position. And look, he got the finish. Glover a couple times was rushing to the next position and taking unnecessary chances. And ultimately, it cost him his championship. He was winning that round and this fight. And then here it is. Glover's trying to fight the hands off here. But he's got it. He had it locked in. You can't really see from that angle. You see the top. Here it is, locked in again. No hooks, none required. You're tired. You're in the fifth round. You've had the crap kicked out of you. And when you're choking your neck, you're only human. You're only human. The top game. Well, the UFC's light heavyweight division has had an illustrious history. And add that one to the annals alongside Shogun and Hendo, John Jones and Alexander Gustafson. Glover yes. Teixeira showing you everything you would want to see in a champion. But Yuri Prohaska with a precious few seconds to go. It just shows away. how good that fight was because tonight the fights have been incredible. And that one stands out as the main event should. But after such a spectacular, I was going to say evening, morning of fights. I mean, my word, take a bow, take a bow. What else can you say about Yuri Prohaska? May have been down on the judges' scorecards. It came at 4.32 of the fifth and final round. Wow. One final time tonight. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke and... Undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, 
Yuri Bohan!